on ESPN. There are winter storms, and then there are <laughs> winter storms. This, my friends, is a winter storm. Snow coming down in droves. We'll see if we can thaw our announcing team of Dan Stevens, Peter O'Keefe, and Susie Calvert. New York, Chicago, now. While the teams are out on the field getting loose, the fans are filing in and finding their seats for the game. Hi folks, it's Dan Stevens, and welcome to Chicago Field. Peter O'Keefe is next to me in the booth, and Peter, we've got a couple of offensive powerhouses down on the field. No doubt about it, Dan, we could be in for a high-scoring game today. Friedman is pretty small as quarterbacks go, but that hasn't stopped him from becoming highly effective. What he lacks in size, he makes up for in heart and determination. I'll tell you what, Dan, his teammate isn't too shabby either. Number 86 is a seriously talented tight end who can really do it all. Whether he's blocking or receiving, this kind of versatility is a major boon for his team. Deadly combination out there. I'm dying to see how it pans out. Okay, Peter, we'll see how they do once the game begins. But first, the toss of the coin. There's the signal, and we're ready. Moran kicks it, and we are underway. Number 77 fields it all the way back at the two. Tackled hard at the 24. We have some rough weather to deal with today, and Susie Culver is down in the midst of it with a report. Susie? Thank you, Dan. The snow is falling heavily right now and is really starting to blanket the field. The players are struggling to keep warm, and these conditions are definitely going to affect their play on the field. Back to you. Thanks, Susie. The Bears' offense takes the field, and they will start at their own 24-yard line. Number 77 barges off right guard and picks up a couple. And I'll tell you, Peter, he made a great tackle there. He brought down one of the more elusive backs Second in eight. the game. Well, you're absolutely right, Jim. But if there's one guy on this defense that can stick with the ball and make the play, it was him. Number 55 goes in motion. Number four throws a bullet to the flat, and it's tipped. Incomplete. Number 60 came in and got a hand on that football and left no chance for a reception there. If complete, that would have made for a bit shorter third down play, but the defense had other ideas. The anticipation to the throw was key here. It made all the pieces fall into place. Third down coming up. Third down, one man down. Number 87, tips it away on the coverage, incomplete. That will bring up fourth down. Number 87, swatted that one away cleanly. The receiver didn't have a prayer in getting that one. Well, the D holds tight on third and long and forces an incompletion. That was a good call by the defensive coordinator. Oh, it sure was. Perfect D for that situation. And it will bring up fourth down. Number four, lines up to punt after the three and out. Number four gets the ball and punches it away. Oh. Down the 33. Friedman didn't have much room to work with back there. The special team squad made sure he couldn't respond to that really nice punt. The Giants get their offense on the field and will start this drive at their 33-yard line. football and is well past the markers for a first down number 17 faces down two defenders and comes away with the football oh nice catch a well-designed play there peter and they will move the chains and let me tell you dan hearing those chains first move is one of the best sounds in the game for an offense first down three wide outs in the game Friedman passes this one after the play action, and it's tipped. In 
incomplete. Number three got himself in prime position to bat away that football before the receiver even had a shot at it. That had potential for some yards, Peter, but the defense was on top of it and shut it down. Good denial there. Second down coming up. up a yard on the play and that brings up third down number 44 had some blocking help on that last one but he was still left with nowhere to go well not much of a game there and they will face third down third and long too then big play coming up number 75 has the sack that says 46 fourth down coming up 75 sends this offense backpedaling with a nice sack in the backfield. They lose some yardage there, Peter. It has to feel like they're going down and up escalate. Yeah, a good rule of thumb here is try to move the ball in the general direction of the other team's end zone. That, that's what usually works. Peter forced the loss of yardage on third, and now they face a fourth and long. How, how do you rate that defensive performance? Uh, how about A+, plus? two thumbs up, five stars. It's all good, baby. Stop at the 21. Number 77 didn't have much room to work with back there. The special team squad made sure he couldn't respond to that really nice punt. The Bears stalled early last drive, and we'll have to wait and see what happens here. They'll start at their own 21-yard line. Number four puts his arm into this one, and the catch is made well past the markers for a first down. Second down, Second just a single goal. receiver on the field. Number 77. Called again, and he takes it upfield. Not hard at the 48. It will be first down. Number 43 goes in motion. Number 12 makes a play on this and forces the incompletion. Number 12 knocked that pass down. And he made sure the only one to touch the football was him. Second down, 10. All of the Bears, 48 yard yard. Number four throws a heater and they can't connect. Incomplete. Number, three. Number 86 played his coverage very snug and as a result the pass was incomplete. On second down they try for the first but it's played well by the defense. That will bring up third down. Nice pressure that time. Third down, 10 yards to go. Save, dropping the ball carrier before he could get to the markers. That's his second tackle so far. Number four gets ready to punt this away. Number 21 to make the return. Number four takes the long snap and punts it away. Friedman gets it at the 12. Brought down at the 20. Friedman racked up a few yards on the run back there, whittling down the size of the punt a little bit. The Giants will start this first play of the drive at their own 20-yard line. Number 44 gains three yards, and that brings up second down. Number 61 with the tackle. 
Second down from the shotgun. Not only cleaned the ball carrier's clock in the backfield, but buffed and polished it, too. Big hit for a loss. Nice job eliminating any forward progress on that play. That will bring up a third and long. Number three makes a play on this and forces the incompletion. It'll be fourth down. Number three, knock that pass down. And he made sure the only one to touch the football was him. A nice defensive play will give him his second oh, batted ball did. of the game. Yeah, great read there. Number 44 lines up to punt after the three and out. Number 44 gets the snap and punts it away. Number 77 fields the punt at the 36. Tackled at the 46. Number 77 did a nice job getting some yards after fielding the solid punt. The Bears had their last drive stall out at the end. We'll see if they can keep momentum throughout this one, which starts at their 46-yard line. Number 87 tips it away on the coverage incomplete. Number 87 managed to disrupt things. He got in there and he smacked that pass away. Great D. That is their fourth batted ball. Tell you, we've seen a number of good defensive plays from this squad. We sure have. We'll see if they can keep it up, though. Ball of the Bears, 46 yard card. Number four, throws a bullet to the flat, and it's caught at the 48, gets out at the 47. Number 51, made the catch without any challenge from the defense, and he took advantage of it. A great job to move the ball and get themselves into a third and short situation. This is a critical play for this drive. Yeah, now Dan, they can just fall forward and make the play. Sounds easy, Peter, but we'll see if they can pull it off. Number 51 grabs the rope right side and tries to get free. Finally dropped at the 37. First down. Number four sings this one perfectly. Great pass, great catch, great play. Let's have another look. Bullseye, what a precise throw. They keep doing plays like this. He could be in big trouble. Peter, they did what they needed to do, and they squeak it past the first down line. Yeah, he knew what he needed to do, and he done did it. How eloquently put. Thank you. First down with a split backfield. Number 56 goes in motion. Number 77 gets the call on first down and picks up a couple. Number 77 didn't get very far on that last play, and he even had the help of some blocking. I guess the defense had their number. Not much there. It'll be second down. Got to take what you can get, Dan, but they were you know, hoping for more. Four receivers line up as the defense settles into a nickel package. him from the ball. Incomplete. Number 12 stayed so close to his assignment he could have taken his calls for him. <laughs> Incomplete pass. That play would have set up a manageable third and short. But instead they forced the incompletion. That's how the D is supposed to play. Number 4 zings it to the right side and it's off. Incomplete. Number 55 looked like he had a solid catch there, and yet somehow he found a way to drop it. They'd been having problems connecting over the middle of the field, and there was more proof of it right there. Yeah, a lot of bodies over the middle, and that congestion is what they're having problems with. Number four gets ready to punt this away. Number four takes the snap and kicks what will be a short one. Number one gets it off the bounce at the 12. Tackled at the 11. The Giants have had some trouble moving the ball recently. 
We'll see what they do on this drive as they start at their own 11-yard line. Number 44 takes his fourth carry of the game and chews up about four on the play. Number nine with the tackle. Tack. Second, Second and six. six. Ball of the Giants, 15 yard yard. Number 17 goes in motion. the 15. The 28 does a great job reacting when he sees the pass is off base and steps in to catch it. The snow can be such a wild card in the passing game. Boy, that was a heads-up play to come away with his first interception of the game. Yeah, you got to love D like that. The Bears are going to try and capitalize on the interception. They'll start this drive at the 15-yard line. Number four unloads this to the right sideline, and it's intercepted. Breaks the tackle. Friedman not only shanghais the football for the interception, but watch. Gets a few more after the catch. Great play all around. To react, make the catch, and then get some yardage to boot. You can't coach that. Boy, that was a heads-up play to come away with his first interception of the game. Yeah, you got to love D like that. The Giants were intercepted last time out. We'll see what happens here. We'll start at their own 21-yard line. Number 86 goes in motion. Number nine makes a play on this and forces the incompletion. Number nine knocked that pass down, and he made sure the only one to touch the football was him. That had potential for some yards, Peter, but the defense was on top of it and shut it down. Good denial there. Second down coming up. Number 44 takes the handoff and heads left. Tackled at the 26. Number 44 played smart and used his blockers to perfection on that last play. They move the ball, and that'll bring up third down. Third down from the eye. Number 77 hammers the receiver and forces him to drop the ball incomplete. It'll be fourth down. Number eight played his coverage very snug, and as a result, the pass was incomplete. It seemed like the defense read that one from the beginning, and they forced the incompletion with level to be. Beautiful call by the D coordinator. It'll be fourth down. Number 44 lines up to punt after the three and out. Number 44 gets the snap and punts it away. Number 77 is at the 30. Hammered down at the 40. Number 77 racked up a few yards on the run back there, whittling down the size of the punt a little bit. The Bears' offense will start this drive at their 40-yard line. Number 51. The dart right sideline and is well past the markers for a first down. Number four throws into a crowd here and by some miracle gets a completion out of it. I don't know how that happened, Dan. Let's have another look. There you go. Well, the D had him covered and they just couldn't get to That's the ball the in time. A perfect pass. You can't coach that. That kind of pass is instant. A well designed play there, Peter, and they will move the chains. And let me tell you, Dan, hearing those chains move is one of the best sounds in the game for an offense. That will end the first quarter, and it's still a scoreless game. Number four, just rifles this one, and the 
reception is made past the markers for a first down. Number 56 makes the catch with three defenders on his case. I just don't know why uh, the throw was made into triple coverage. Hey, it worked. Yes, it did. That'll be his first catch of the game after being shut out the entire first quarter. This is a bit of a slow start for him. Yeah, it is, Dan, but he will see the ball more and more as the game goes on. Number 56. Didn't haul that one in, and it falls incomplete. Friedman shut down that pass perfectly. You know, when you're sitting back in a zone like that, what you're trying to do is read the quarterback's eyes to get a jump on the ball. The defense stood up to that play and shuts down what would be a minimal gain anyway. It'll be second down. Number 55 goes in motion. Number that took some strength, Peter. You can't plow Number him down the way uh, you plow through a buffet line. <laughs> hey, uh, that depends on what you're serving. Prime rib, watch out. <laughs> Third down and four wideouts in the game. He's short of the marker. That will bring up fourth down. Friedman managed to take him down just before he got to the markers. That's his third tackle of the game. Fourth down, and the field goal unit is on the field. Number 10 kicks from 40 yards out, and they take the lead. Ten has his work cut out for him trying to kick in the snow here. Watch this. Oh, he manages to sail it through. Although with this visibility, somebody ought to tell him that. The ref gets the signal, and we're set. Number 10 kicks it off. Friedman fields the kickoff at the one. Stop at the 22. Well, Peter, some interesting information up on the screen. Oh, you bet. Well, the numbers aren't impressive here, but they can take heart that a single score will change the whole game. They need to put a drive together and make something happen. Friedman got a very respectable return off that nice kickoff there, Dan. The Giants have been locked in a defensive struggle so far. They will start this drive at their own 22-yard line. Friedman lobs this one over the middle and gets caught at the 32. Chase down at the 37. That will bring up first down. Number 86 faces down two defenders and comes away with the football. Oh, nice catch. A well-designed play there, Peter, and they will move the chains. And let me tell you, Dan, hearing those chains move is one of the best sounds in the game for an offense. up first down first down number 44 played it smart back there by following his blockers first and that allowed him to make some good yards a big gain on third and they will easily move the chain perfect call for the situation Dan no trouble in getting the first number six goes in motion Friedman zings it to the right side and it got away from him a bit incomplete I'm bringing it, yeah. Told you. 
Friedman. He's really struggling out there today. As you can see by the numbers, it's all bad. Up to now, he's got 32 yards and one interception. Friedman makes a risky pass here and completes it. That took guts, Dan. Check it out. Oh, perfect pass. And it had to be accurate to get in there between the two defenders. Third and long, and they get the big play to convert. What do you think of that, Peter? I love it. That's what football is all about, making the big plays when you need to, and you can't coach that. Six. Number six swatted that one away cleanly. The receiver didn't have a prayer in getting that one. They have really gotten after the ball as a team today. That is their fifth batted ball. Nice, aggressive dream. Number 44 gets the toss and passes the line. Breaks free. Finally gets out of bounds. At the 21, it will be first down. Number 44 works it to the outside and gets a huge gain. That's a great play, great execution. Let's have another look. Yep, got past the marker and eventually runs out of bounds. A well-designed play there, Peter, and they will move the chain. Great execution. Come on, first and 10. up one on the play. Number 44 used the blocking, but this stingy defense didn't give up much at all on that last play. Not much there. It'll be second down. Got to take what you can get, Dan, but they were you know, hoping for more. Friedman fires this one over the middle, and it's not reeled in. Incomplete. 17. Tried to snag that one across the middle, but it doesn't happen. The incompletions keep piling up, and even here in the second quarter, it doesn't seem to be improving. Not at all. They're just not getting it together. The timing, the routes, the protection, nothing. Number 15 goes in motion. No good. Incomplete. Fourth down coming up. Friedman will fly a risky throw into double coverage, but it fell incomplete. Peter, in third down situations, they have not been successful at all with the pass. This play was more proof. Boy, third is such a crucial down, Dan. When we won't convert, it really hurts. Fourth down, nine yards to go. Moran kicks from 38 yards out, and it's good! Moran sends it whizzing between the goal posts for a field goal straight down the pike. Number four, kicking, kicking off, off for the Giants. Giants. The ref gets the signal, and we're set. Moran booms a beauty here. Number 77 downs this in the end zone for a touchback. The Bears could take the lead before halftime as their offense will start at their own 20-yard line. Number 70, 
77. We'll get stopped at the line, and that will bring up second down. Number 77 got some help on that one in the form of blocking, but he still couldn't make a play out of it. We're going to stay strong, and we're going to get to the spots we need to. Okay, fellas? Second down, both tight ends left. Number 87 hammers the receiver and forces him to drop the ball incomplete. Number 87 never gave his assignment any wiggle room and was able to prevent a completion. You know, it's all about blanket coverage, and that, my friends, was exactly what we saw back there. On second down, they try for the first, but it's played well by the defense. That will bring up third down. Nice pressure that time. Number 56 goes in motion. Number nine, Jackson, back at the 18. Fourth down coming up. Number four lines up deep in his own territory to punt it away. Make the return. Number four takes the long snap and punts it away. Friedman fields the punt at the 39. Down at the 48. Friedman racked up a few yards on the run back there, whittling down the size of the punt a little bit. The Giants offense takes the field and they will start out at their 48 yard line. Brought down the ball carrier before the markers. There was some game there, but not enough for the first. Peter, once he closes his grip around you, you are not going to get free, regardless of how evasive you are. Not with that strength. With those guns, he could probably juggle bowling balls or wide receivers for that matter. Number 44 gets the ball and punts it away. Number 77 catches it at the 14. Tackle at the 24. Well, Peter, some interesting information up on the screen. Oh, you bet. Look at how many times they've had to punt it away. Got to put a few longer drives together and get into the end zone. Number 77 made a puddle jumper of a punt look even punier with that nice run back. Bears stalled early last drive, and we'll have to wait and see what happens here. They'll start at their own 24-yard line. Number 77 takes it for his eighth carry and picks up eight yards on the play. Number 16 used every ounce of his big self to do some key blocking on that last play. Peter, what a second nice pickup to get them into a second and short situation. Yeah, great play, and now they have a bunch of options on what to try next. Second down, just a single receiver on the field. Number three goes in motion. Number 77, the ball carrier. Number 70 with the tackle. Third and two, two. Ball of the Bears, 32 yard line. Number 77 carries it for the third time in a row and is dropped 
short of the marker. That will bring up fourth down. Number four lines up to punt after the three and out. So that'll bring the first half of football to a close as the clubs head to the locker room all time. And now let's send you to Chris Berman in our studios in Bristol for the ESPN Halftime Report. Boomer? Okay, Dana, we'll get back to you guys in a moment. Welcome, everybody, to the ESPN Halftime Show. I'm Chris Berman. The Bears, no surprise, find themselves in a tight defensive struggle. It's just impossible to gain much yardage out there. Can anybody do it and forge ahead in the second half? Let's get started on this one early in the first quarter. Number 21 would find his target on this one. The Bears, early in the first quarter, number four, would drop back and deliver a strike on this one. Giant towards the end of the first quarter, number 28, shows some great awareness here as he gets himself into position to pick this one off. The Bears on defense, number 21, was in the right place at the right time as his interception was a possible momentum shifter. After driving 37 yards on five plays, number 10 would come on and connect on the field goal try. A 41-yard field goal. The Bears strike first and go up by three. After driving 57 yards on 12 plays, number four is summoned for the field goal attempt. Good snap, good spot, good kick. Three goods equals three points. Connect on the field goal. And that's where we'll leave this one. Bears are keeping it evened up. We're tied three all. And as far as my halftime hero, well, there's really no contest. Number 21 has taken over this game. So that'll do it from here. Let's send you back out now to Dan Stevens and Peter O'Keefe. Dan? Thanks, Boomer, and welcome back to our broadcast presented in ESPN Game Sound. Designed and developed in collaboration with Dolby, the leader in surround sound technology. The Giants get the ball first to start the second half, and they will have a chance to break the deadlock. It's all tied up here. Let's go down to the field. Number 10 kicks it off to begin the second half. Friedman fields the second half kickoff at the three. Drag down at the 28. Friedman got a very respectable return off that nice kickoff there, Dan. The Giants will start this drive at their own 28-yard line. Number 34, Jews up four yards, and that will bring up second down. Second down, two wideouts on the field. Penetrates and stops that back at the 31. Number nine, not only cleaned the ball carrier's clock in the backfield, but buffed and polished it too. Big hit for a loss. Nice job eliminating any forward progress on that play. That will bring up a third and long. Friedman throws the ball and the reception's made at the 36. And he stopped right there. Number 77 will be credited with the tackle. It'll be fourth down. Number 44 gets ready to punt this away. Number 44 takes the long snap and punts it away. Number 77, Peters to punt at the 21. Black down at the 32. Number 77, racked up a few yards on the run back there, whittling down the size of the punt a little bit. Bears have been locked in a defensive struggle so far. They will start this drive at their 32-yard line. Number 77 the ball carrier. Number four, four right, right, the tie tie. Okay, 
All right. Number 77 just hasn't gotten into a groove and isn't finding running room anywhere. This has been tough, and he struggled to get 27 yards on 11 carries. What the counter? Second, Second and nine. nine. and forces the incompletion. Number 87 knocked that pass down, and he made sure the only one to touch the football was him. That's his third batted ball, and he is doing his part, that is for sure. Nice to see aggressive D like that, Dan. Number four fires this one over the middle, and the catch is made well past the markers for a first down. Number 56 goes one-on-one -on, -one on this play and beats his man. He executed that pass pattern perfectly and made the catch. Nice reception. Nope, they could not cover him man-to-man. -man. He was one step ahead of the defense. I'm glad he finally nabbed one because he's had a string of missed catches before this. Yeah, his quarterback obviously didn't lose faith in him, though, Dan, because he's kept throwing it his way. First down with the tight end, right. Number 77, carries it for the 12th time, and he gains about three yards. Second and six. six. Ball of the Bears, 50 yard run. Number seven gets the sack at the 48. Number seven gets to the quarterback, and nobody lays a finger on him. And then he proceeds to lay a lot more than a finger on him. Yeah, he used all ten and then some. That'll Let's be his up. first sack of the game. Number 77 brings it to the middle, and he will be short of the marker. That will bring up fourth down. Number 44 tackled him so close to the markers, he can probably taste it, and along with the dirt and the grass he's trying to spit out. And at the end of that play, Peter, it goes to show you what leverage and good positioning can do when it comes to making a tackle. Yeah, and you know, Dan, that's especially important when you're outmatched on strength. That's a good play there. Number four gets the ball and punts it away. The Giants have had some trouble moving the ball recently. We'll see what they do on this drive as they start at their own 20-yard line. Number six goes in motion. Number 28. The Number 28 does a great job stopping the quarterback cold in the backfield. They lose a couple of yards, but it's the feeling of dropping the quarterback that matters. Right? It's so important to stop and appreciate the little things, like a flower or a rainbow or All right. a, a, All a tortured right. face on a quarterback for crying out loud. They put a stop to this play behind the line of scrimmage. Pretty good call by the defensive coordinator. Agreed. That will bring up second down. Friedman rifles it out left side, and it's caught at the 32. Brought down hard at the 33. That will bring up first down. First down, three wideouts in the game. Number 44 gets the handoff and runs into traffic. Number 55 takes him down way back at the 28. No good. 
incomplete. Fourth down coming up. Number 44 lines up for the punt. Number 44 takes the snap and punts it away. Number 77 catches the snap to 25. Tackle at the 34. Number 77 did a nice job getting some yards after fielding the solid punt. The Bears stalled early last drive and we'll have to wait and see what happens here. They'll start at their 34-yard line. Number 77 dodges this one way out right and picks up a couple. Number four with the tackle. Second and eight. Ball of the Bears, 36-yard line. Number 77, the carry on second down and chews up about four on the play. Third down, one man down. No dice and it falls in complete. That will bring up fourth down. Number four lines up to punt after the three and out. Number 21 to make the return. Number four gets the snap and punts it away. Friedman feels the punt at the 21. Stop at the 29. Friedman did a nice job getting some yards after fielding the solid punt. The Giants haven't got much out of their offense recently, and we'll see if they can get back on track here. This drive begins at their own 29-yard line. Number 44 will get the carry on first down and heads wide left. No one in front of them. Eventually tackled at the 45. First down. Number 44 delivers a powerhouse stiff arm that really leaves no room for argument. Big play there. You know, if they can't reach you, they can't tackle you. Yep, he was only an arm length away, but he might as well be sitting in the cheap seats, you know, having some nachos, maybe a hot dog, a churro, a bag of chips, oh, maybe, you know. Maybe some garlic. Yeah. All right, knock it off. How much strength do you need to pull away from a great pursuer like that, Peter? Plenty. And good leverage, too. That's a great matchup there. Friedman zips it to the left sideline, and it's Tim incomplete. Number five, managed to disrupt things. He got in there and he smacked that pass away. Great D. Another batted ball, and they have been attacking the pass every Second chance they get. Man. That's right, Dan. You know, why simply defend the pass when you can obliterate it? Number 75, that's this one at the line of scrimmage, incomplete. Friedman has had difficulties, to say the least. And now, he's second-guessing everything he's thrown. Terrible day. So far, he's struggled to get 68 yards and one interception. Got down the ball carrier just before he got to the markers. A good game, but not good enough. He now has five tackles in the game. Number 44 gets ready to punt this away. Number 44 takes the long snap and punts it away. Number 77 takes it at the 10. Breaks free. 
Number 77 fielded the ball, and although he was dropped pretty quickly, that terrible kick gives him some good field position. The Bears send their offense out on the field and will start this drive at their own 16-yard line. Number 55 goes in motion. Number 77 carries it for the fifth time. Picks up eight yards on the play. Number 77 is bullying it up the middle with moderate success. I think he needs to vary it up a little bit to keep the D off guard. Up to now, he's accumulated 44 yards on 15 carries. Second and three. Number 77 picks up a yard on the play, and that will bring up third down. Go Bears! Come on, we need first down. So three quarters in the That's books the now, and we're quarter. all tied. Down with a split backfield. <laughs> Number four sings it to the right side and it falls incomplete. Number three, that one come right to him back there. You have to catch those passes, baby. Peter, even though he's a back versus a wideout, it, it's still rare to see him drop those. Yeah, you're right, Dan. For, for a back, he's got great hands. Number four, lines up to punt after the three and out. Number four, takes the snap and punts it away. Freeman peels the punt at the 38. Tackled at the 40. Friedman didn't have much room to work with back there. The special team squad made sure he couldn't respond to that really nice punt. The Giants have been locked in a defensive struggle so far. They will start this drive at their 40-yard line. Friedman throws a bullet to the flat and the reception's made at the 37. Number nine tackles in behind the line of scrimmage. Number nine not only cleaned the ball carrier's clock in the backfield, but buffed and polished it too. Big hit for a loss. They put a stop to this play behind the line of scrimmage. Pretty good call by the defensive coordinator. Agreed, man. They, they had it all locked up there. That will bring up second down. It's in second. Run down at the 49. Goes why you think twice before throwing a pass in his neighborhood. Watch. Great presence of mind to try for the football there. Peter, you couldn't ask for more from him today. He has done his part. And then some. So far, he's got two interceptions. The Bears start this one on the center logo at the 49-yard line. Picks up 11 on the play, and that will bring up first down. Impressive yards in the ground here. Check it out. Boy, that's some nice running. It's all about field vision. And if you can see where you have room to roam, good things happen. A well-designed play there, Peter, and they will move the chains. And let me tell you, Dan, hearing those chains move is one of the best sounds in the game for an offense. Number 55 goes in motion. Number 77 gets the call again and picks up a couple. Number nine with the tackle. Second down, empty backfield. Ball of 36 yard line. Number four throws this on the move. And the ball is caught at the 26. Put it down at 
the 23. It will be first down. the 26. Number nine, drop the quarterback like a sack lunch behind the line. <laughs> That'll cost him a few. Peter, he's really gotten after the quarterback in this game. Oh, you can say that again. So far, he's got three tackles and two sacks. Number four, right was the left side, and the catch is made for a gain of a couple. Number 56, took on triple coverage and came away with a phenomenal catch. I'm glad he finally nabbed one because he's had a string of missed catches before this. Yeah, his quarterback obviously didn't lose faith in him, though, Dan, because he's kept throwing it his way. Third down and four wideouts in the game. Number 77, catches it over the middle, and he will be well short of the marker. It'll be fourth down. Moran brought down the ball carrier before the markers. There was some game there, but not enough for the first. He's now up to six tackle. Fourth down, and the field goal unit is on the field. Number 10 kicks from 39 yards out and has it sailed just left of the upright. Number 10 watches as his kick gets snowbound here. Take a look. Well, it goes wild there. So cold it might have shattered if it hit the upright. The Giants were intercepted last time out. We'll see what happens here. We'll start at their own 30-yard line. Number 44 gets the handoff and heads left. Holmes in on the tackle back at the 28. 75. Not only cleaned the ball carrier's clock in the backfield, but buffed and polished it too. Big hit for a loss. They put a stop to this play behind the line of scrimmage. Pretty good call by the defensive coordinator. Agreed, Dan. They had it all locked up there. That will bring up second down. Freeman sings it to the right side, and the reception is made past the markers for a first down. First and ten. ten. Number eight tips it away on the coverage incomplete. Friedman has found limited success in the passing game so far, Dan, and he just can't seem to get into a rhythm out there. I'd say he's not very pleased with his performance. So far, he's got 85 yards and two interceptions. Second and 10. All the Giants, 41 yards. Friedman fires this one through the middle, and he hits his man for a pickup of nine. Friedman lived dangerously on that play with a pass into double coverage, but the throw was on target. What a pass. A great job to move the ball and get themselves into a third and short situation. This is a critical play for this drive. Yeah, now Dan, they can just fall forward and make the play. Sounds easy, Peter, but we'll see if they can pull it off. Number 44 gains three yards, and they will move the chain. Number 44 played smart and used his blockers to perfection on that last play. A nice play, and with only a short distance to the first, they put it together and make it happen. Yeah, third and short always makes it easy, but it's good game. It's good execution. Number 44 played smart on that last one by following his blockers, but hey, they weren't able to open up any holes for it. Not much there. It'll be second down. Got to take what you can get, Dan, but they were, you know, hoping for more. Number nine gets the sack way back at the 48. Number nine gets the sack deep in the pocket. That's going to be a sizable loss. Watch this. Oh, yeah. That's going to push him back, way back. Great defensive play. That'll be his first sack of the game. 
Third down, coming up on the 10th play of the drive. Number 57, Maxim Raves at the 41. That will bring up fourth down. Number 56 comes in untouched on this play and just wallops the quarterback. And where was the O-line, Dan? Did, did they just give up? Oh, that quarterback's going to be pointing fingers on that one. That will be two losses in a row. Great reads by the D on the last two plays, Dan. Number 44 lines up for the punt. Number 44 gets the snap and punts it away. Number 77 feels it at the 22. Right down at the 28. Number 77 didn't have much room to work with back there. The special team squad made sure he couldn't respond to that really nice punt. The Bears offense takes the field with time winding down. They'll start at their own 28-yard line. Number 77 goes right up the middle and moves forward for seven. Second down, three yards to go. Number 77. Second down, and gets the first down. The clock continues to run. First and ten. ten. Ball of the players, 40 yard yard. Number 77, two's up, four yards, and the clock will continue to run. Second down, Second tight end to the left. Number 77, that's the 22nd carry of the game, and he's stuck. The clock continues to run. Four, dumps this one off and it's tipped incomplete it'll be fourth down Friedman came in and got a hand on that football and left no chance for a reception there another batted ball and they have been attacking the pass every chance they get that's right Dan you know why simply defend the pass when you can obliterate it number four gets ready to punt this away number four gets the ball and punts it away Friedman heals the punt at the 11. Stop at the 14. Friedman didn't have much room to work with back there. The special team squad made sure he couldn't respond to that really nice punt. The Giants will start this drive deep in their own territory with the clock at 53. Friedman zips it to the left sideline and it's incomplete. Campbell had that ball in his hands on that play, and he just dropped it. Potential for some nice yards, but it falls incomplete. That will bring up second down. Second down, three wideouts in the game. Number five makes a play on this and forces the incompletion. Number five came in and got a hand on that football and left no chance for a reception there. A nice defensive play right. will get him the second batting ball of the game. A great rebound. Third down. The clock is stopped at 46. Friedman throws a bullet to the flat and it is not reeled in. Incomplete. Number 20 had some room on the fringes there, but couldn't reel in the pass. Peter, in third down situations, they have not been successful at all with the pass. This play was more proof. Boy, third is such a crucial down, Dan. And when you don't convert, it really hurts. Number 44 lines up deep in his own territory to punt it away. Number 44 takes the long snap and puts it away. Breaks the tackle. Tackle at the 41. 
77. Racked up a few yards on the run back there, whittling down the size of the punt a little bit. The Bears start this drive in great field position at the 41-yard line. Number four, just right for this one, and the catch is made for the first. The clock continues to tick down. First down, one man back. Number 51 didn't haul that one in, and it falls incomplete. Number 51 got free on that one by running a short outside route, but couldn't make the grab, that's incomplete. That falls incomplete, but it would have been a minimal gain had they completed it anyway. Second, and Second down, the clock is stopped at 16. <laughs> Number four, throws a heater right sideline and it's intercepted. He's in for the touchdown. Friedman picks off the ball, and he's going all the way. Nobody can stop him. Man, I hope his mom's got the VCR going. That touchdown will give him the lead late in the game. What a play. you got to love it. <laughs> now the extra point, the extra point and is good. it's good. There's the signal, and we're ready. Moran rockets this one deep. Number 77 decides to take it out of the end zone. Breaks the tackle. Stop at the 29. And that is going to That's do it for this one. The Giants come out on top, 10 to 3. For my partner, Peter Oki, this is Dan Stevens saying goodbye until next time. All right, Dan, thank you. So this one is in the books as we welcome you all to our ESPN video game post-game show. I'm Chris Berman. The Giants stepped it up for sure, putting up some good numbers. Let's get started in this one early in the third quarter. Number four connected with his man on this one. Number 21 connected with his man on this one. Game tied, three all. Number 44 is going to get the carry here as they grind it out on the ground. He makes the most of this one. The Giants have it again. Number 28 is reading the quarterback's eyes all the way as he's able to get his hands on this one and pick it off. Game tied, three all. Number 21 would come up with a huge play here as he was able to pick one off here, then had some clear sailing in front of him. Touchdown for the Giants. And that's where we'll leave this one. Giants edge out a win, 10 to three. Now let's take a sec to chat with our player of the game, the guy who seemed to be all over the field on defense and came up with big play after big play. Number 21 is on the field with our Susie Calvert. Suze? Thank you, Chris. You played great today, and you edged them out in a hard-fought game. What put you guys over the top? Yeah, you know, for the moment I stepped on the field, then no one was stopping me. I felt like could win this game for us, and that's what I did. Back to you, Chris. That concludes our presentation of the NFL preseason on ESPN. Celebrating its 25th anniversary as the worldwide leader in sports. I'm Chris Berman. See you next time.